Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you, leading you into a very special time. Because I always think of time as being special. Find a reason for it to be special. In fact, your mind might be struggling with that that very perception, that very thought this day that what is special about just walking into another day i just i'm walking into taking care of problems i'm walking into a job i'm walking into a home all of those you can say complaints about life bring them up because you then will find a reason to cut those cords they're basically cords of despair cords of baggage, cords of negativity, what doesn't work for you, that's okay. Let it come up because we all carry those. It cannot be helped because when you are in a living body, you will find something that is going wrong or something that has gone wrong and you're still carrying it. So this day is one of supreme protection in that sense from the divine ones because they want you, first of all, to walk into this new month absolutely excited about life, absolutely vibrant again, remembering your dreams, looking forward to the days ahead, looking forward to the time ahead, carrying your creativity, expressing yourself as you are. All of those thoughts have to come up. So of course, when that is going on with the divine child of God, who better than a mother to hold that child and say, that's okay. Just look up and ask. Ask for what it is that you want, but do not stop expressing. Do not stop feeling. Do not stop trying. That do not stop is okay. Keep believing. Mind, body, spirit, they'll all be taken care of. Already, I'm sure hearing that you feel better, knowing that you're going into a day when you're receiving Again, for some people who are very, very tuned in, you can say to the online message service, you can say, of the universe, think that it should come at a certain time. Just remember with the divine ones, especially the angelic forces and the messages that come from the Akashic spaces, it will reach you in your body, in your space, in your country even, and in the time that you need it, exactly when you need it. You cannot miss a message and you cannot lose a message as such. It will always reach you. You might even find sometimes relevance in yesterday's message and it makes more sense today. That's okay. Honor that. That kind of expression and connection this day is exactly what you need to step into and step out of the not I would not say that step out of the rules of protection of the law <laughs> and of course of where you're living practical reality honor that that should always be on it the foundation and of course what you were born into but cut your cords to blame and judgment That stops you from being who you are. Don't try to be perfect. Just try to be you. The Divine Ones love you just as you are. You choose reasons to be ignored. Don't do that to yourself. You're lovable even now. Those huge mistakes you made even as a teenager or a young person and you're not a young person anymore or you are a teenager going through problems and trying to figure it out, all of that, put it behind you. I am that I am, those I am statements, reaffirm them again. Affirmations, invocations, prayer, defining yourself as a divine one, that is what is going to bring you back. And so who better than a divine mother, as stated before, to do that for you? And the Divine One who comes forward this day was literally formed out of tears of compassion that the ultimate, according to certain tradition, the Lord of compassion literally wept for the earth one day. Avohi ke teshvara. He just looked at the earth 
and saw so much suffering that he just cried and cried for the planet. And from those tears formed a perfect shape of a lotus that just kept growing and growing and growing and became this beautiful image that you see in front of you, Tara. Now, why is she green here? She has various colors for various purposes. And this color was taken by the Oracle card maker, Kyle. This time, to give you the sense of security and protection that we often shun away from because we think it's too harsh, it's too bitter, it's too difficult, it'll make me very aggressive, it'll make me very angry. No, this is protection that is, you can say, due to you. To help you feel safe as a divine one. And actually to take on love, sincerity, compassion, sweetness, grace. You can literally write down a list of the attributes and essence that you are often shunning or going away from. Because like, oh, that'll just make me too weak. How can I walk into a store and ask for what I want without screaming for it. That's a cord. So you choose this day to be you. Try that. Apply it. Ask Mother Tara to be there. And just a small action. Action step that you take in your home or in your workspace. Where you're just you and just gracefully handle the moment. And nothing is taken away from you. In fact, it's added to you. You get more acceptance. You get a form of protection. And you walk away with honor. And the other person is also benefited, not hurt. So you look at Mother Green Tara now. So the the word green literally brings revival, abundance, health, movement, growth, natural attributes of all of nature, because all of nature is green, right? Constantly, consistently growing. So something that you want as a form of power that just keeps feeding you in that sense. So know that you're protected now. And ask for that beautiful orb behind her to just come into your thoughts, have a feeling of being held inside that golden orb. It's clear, right? And the sky behind her is not blue. This time it's green. Because the sky is bringing to you through thoughts, through the mental landscape of your thoughts, what you need, the essence, you want to connect with the form of the divine, you want to connect with the word, a movement, something related to your wishes, to your health, this is the time to think about that. All that does not serve you, wherever it is that you're stopping yourself or you're being stopped by external forces, this is the time also to focus on that. All forms of negativity are just literally being cut away from you. That is just such an emphasis from the Divine Ones this day. Cords are being cut, cords are being cut, cords are being cut. Whether self-created, whether external, what, for whatever reason they are, they are holding you back and that baggage is there, you are not going to carry it anymore. Now look at her for one moment again. The supreme love, that copper light of compassion that Archangel Gabriel often brings is within Mother's eyes too. Pure Heavenly Akashic 
space, love, floating, knowledge, connection. Everything is flowing through those eyes. They'll become what you need, what you need to ask, what you need to receive, what you need to create, what you need to be. Everything is in there. Even even the third eye is open. It's so easy to look at her third eye. If you never actually thought of your third eye as a third eye, maybe this is the day to actually open it up and see, literally see the world differently or see what you want to see and you had hoped to see and never seen before. Symbols, divine ones, a glimpse of the future, an understanding of the present, or just look around your room and just see glowing lights that you've never seen before. For this, just put off maybe your physical lighting in your room and then see the room and actually see that it's lit. Now, how did that happen? Because you chose to have faith. You believed. Try something like that. It's therapy. Just just wanting you to believe and know that you're a divine one and you carry so much potential and power within you that you don't even begin to understand. That's why this word protection has come up. Don't lose that. And don't harm yourself for anything. You are protected. Cords are being cut left, right and center that do not work for you. And now you might say, why does she have such huge flowers on the left and right side of her because these are allowing you to receive abundance, wishes, to be helped, to connect with soul family if that's some part of your concern with other people, with your heart. To help you open your heart if you've been hurt very severely in the past. In that way, this is open and that's why it's magenta. Creative expression. Don't be afraid to use your artistic skills or ability to express. Even verbally if that's so, if that needs to be. It's all pointing, right, towards the center, towards the heart. Wherever your heart is leading you, the left and right side of your receiving centers, you can say, is open. Helping you clear your connection with the past and go forward into the future. Clear, clean, happy, excited. And then the right side is removing all the obstacles that stand in your way right now that just keep you stuck, stagnant, not using your full potential, not going forward, not doing anything. It's open, right? Both are open and both are leading to the heart. What is the heart doing? Shining, happy, receiving from the Akashic centers, clear and happy. Brilliantly open, sweet, pure love. And even your throat has a beautiful necklace of the divine allowing you to speak with the power and potential of your words that you always have had, but opening it up now to full effect. Just enjoy speaking and conversations this day. Conversations will have a sense of the epiphanies of heaven coming through. You'll be like, I never recognized that before. That I never recognized or I never saw that. Go ahead and say that million times this day. You'll find many ways to perceive life differently than you're already excited listening to that, right? Listening. Now we go back to speaking about listening. She has huge earrings on the left and right side of her. Again, what do you choose to listen to? Do you choose to listen to 
complaints and negativity, criticism and insults? No. So that is the left side clearing all that away, the residue. It'll come. It cannot be helped. You cannot go sit in a box or something and live outside of this world, but you can choose what you do with the words that you receive. And then the right side, what is it that you choose to think about for the future? If you're going down a road, do you listen to the reasons you will not reach the end of that road or the method is wrong? Or do you choose to just listen to your heart and the divine ones who are guiding you? Divine guidance, it's coming through. You have to just sort it out, which one is what. Again, you have to choose. Choice, choice, choice. But that's why she has all these different, different flowers in different forms of greenery and the floral kingdom coming through, all intertwined together, past, present, future, that you don't have to think about it. Don't make it such a, so much of an effort, such a hard task for you. That's why very, very simple advice is coming through. It's so easy to follow. If you just choose to even see this image, it'll take on different meaning for you at different times of the day because even her crown is covered with these beautiful flowers. So you can stand tall and proud. Your foundation is being created. Your mind is clear and you're safe, nothing and no one will harm you. You just choose to focus on that and you'll be held. You'll be taught, you'll be told, you'll be guided, both through your meditations and prayer, through people, through the very place that you stand upon right now physically. It's all covered, mind, body, spirit. That's why it's intertwined. And that's why there are three centers of foundation. It's creating that foundation for you. That sense of protection. Security. And it's all coming through with wisdom, with logic, with understanding. Just the way you need it. Just the way you need to move forward right now. It's all being revealed to you. You just go moment to moment. And see the words then, supreme protection. That means not for one moment will this stop or look away from you or decide to be elsewhere. Supreme. It's there for you as you need it. When you need it. The way you need it. The method that makes the most sense to you. For that which is most dear to your heart. That's why the heart is covered so brilliantly. You will understand how precious all of this is. You will not lose it for even one moment. You will not. Right? You don't see any portion of this vision or this visual that is empty. It's not going to be empty. You are protected Cords, they're cut. Move beyond those limitations. And here is a supreme word. See how this advice for once ends. It's not telling you to do anything. Just to be there and receive all of this. More like it, just have faith. Be excited and ask like a child, expecting to get a lollipop. Just trust. And then you find different ways to work with these different instruments of the light. I'm just a messenger of the light, conveying this to you, giving this to you, passing it on to you. You decide to maybe pass it on to others. Maybe you find a different way to use it and share it in our group here. We're a family of light after all. And we love to learn from one another. I love to learn from you. Thank you for sharing with me every day. Thank you for giving me the chance to share with you. 
Let's all just go forward supremely and feel protected that in a world that seems to be in flux, changing and sometimes violent, angry, aggressive, tired, sad, you're protected. You just remember what is real. Go back to those foundations. If you have to remind yourself of the principles of Reiki, of the principles of your religion that you believe in, the pathway that you follow, the holy books that you read, the mantras that you every day recite and pray and verbalize. Why did I take time with that? Because it's how you define it. But define it, and it's not going to go away from you. Maybe even do something nice for someone that they're not expecting this day, and you'll say, oh yes, I'm still loved. I'm still capable of extending love. It's still there. It's not gone. It's not disappeared. Nor have you disappeared, nor has anything disappeared. It's all there. All the good, it's still very much there. So remind yourself of whatever truth you want to through each one of these statements or all of them or however you want to do it. Have an exciting day feeling protected and safe rather than complaining and being tired for once. You're protected, cords are being cut and move beyond limitations and just trust. And this is so beautifully given to us with the merging of the wise words and the messages from Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the lovely way that Mother comes alive for us here and reminds us that, yes, feminine power can protect because we always think of it as a masculine attribute, right? And this form of using the flowers and greenery is in a beautiful, beautiful, fresh, fresh approach to all of this, coming through the art of Lily Moses, L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. LilyMoses.com And this is Tina signing off for now. Have a supreme day being supremely protected. Bye for now.